Hello everyone, Jamie here. So in this video I'm going to show you how to route the Blackview A60 Pro. And for this video we're going to need a computer and a micro SD card. We will need that um, later to route and I will show you when we get to that stage. So first things first, we need to go to the settings. Uh, we're going to go all the way down until it says system. Uh, I'm going to go to advanced and then about phone. And I'm going to scroll all the way down till we find build number. So we just need to keep tapping that until it says you are a developer. We then go to developer options. Now with this we need to um, select OEM unlocking, so I'm going to enable that. Okay, and then we need to go down to where it says USB debugging, so I'm going to select that as well. Okay, and then we need to put the phone into fast boot mode. And the best way I found to do of doing this is to press volume up and uh, the power button. So we're just going to hold them down together and this will take about 20 seconds. Okay, so keep holding it down. Okay, and we've got a small vibration there. Um, and so to navigate, if you press the volume up button, you can go through the options. And then you have to press volume down when we're on fast boot. So I'm going to select that. And there it is, it says fast boot mode. Okay, so now we need to go to the computer. Now what I've gone and done is I've put a load of files and folders um, into a zip file so that you can follow these instructions and you don't have to go on these really suspicious weird websites to try and download all of this. I just thought it would be easier if I could just provide it for you. So first thing we need to do, install the drivers. So we need to click on the uh, first one, MTK, so we're just going to install that. Okay, and this window will pop up, so we're just going to click on yes. So yep, yeah, it's going to install it to the desktop as well, and we just click on that. Right, first step out of the way. Next step, we need to download minimal ADB and fastboot. So I've provided the installer there, and then when you've installed that, you can go to this folder here. And I've provided all of the files here. So what we need to do first is we need to plug in the phone. And then we're gonna hold down the shift button and right click and we're going to go to open command window or you might have PowerShell depending on what version of Windows you've got okay and I've actually got some root commands here so first thing I'm going to type is fast boot devices and there we go I can see that's connected there um, secondly we need to unlock the OEM so what we need to do is type either fast boot flashing unlock or fastboot OEM unlock. I know a lot of people had trouble with the second suggestion and the first one seemed to work better so I'm going to try that in this instant here and see if that works. So I'm going to put fastboot flashing unlock. Okay and that's brought up a message on the phone. So this will wipe your phone but you're going to need to have to do this to progress to the next stage. So to wipe you have to press down uh, volume up so please um, do any sort of backups um, even if you have to go back and turn your phone on and then come back to this stage just make sure you've backed up everything uh, just so that you don't lose anything. Okay and I'm happy to wipe the phone so I'm going to press volume up. Okay and that bit's done. So next we're going to have to unplug the phone and we're going to turn the phone off again. So um, we can press down uh, volume down and the power button and we're just going to hold that down for a little bit. Okay, I'm going to let go. There we go. So we've got black view come up. Okay, and then we're back to the setup screen. So you can set it up completely if you want now, if you uh, want to put all your details in. For me, I'm just going to do all of that sort of stuff later, and I'm just going to um, get onto the phone. I'm going to put in my Wi-Fi password, and then just get to the next stage. Okay, so we need to go through the settings again. We just need to um, enable USB debugging. So we just got to go through the same steps again. So go to about, go all the way down to the bottom where it says build number, tap that until it says you are a developer. And then we're going to go to developer options 
and you can see now it says OEM unlocking that's been enabled and we can just click USB debugging now okay next step is back on the computer so on here we've got the Majisk files I've put an uninstall if you need it but you should need it you should just need the APK file and the zip file um, so we're going to put that onto a um, SD card like I've done here and um, then we're going to take it out of the computer and we're going to put it in the phone Okay, so I've put the SD card in and there we go, so that's been inserted. Okay, and we need to press uh, volume up and the power button again and we're going to have to do this for another 20 seconds. We just need to get it back into fast boot mode. So as we can see there, we're on fast boot mode, so I'm going to select that. Perfect. So again, we're going to plug in the phone. there okay so back to the computer so again we need to go back to this folder uh, we need to go to minimal ADB again go to that so we're going to press shift and then right click and we're going to go to open command okay and we're going to go back to the notes so for this uh, we need to do this one first now this one might be a bit unusual you might not have seen this one before but for some reason I could not root this phone without this so <laughs> we need to type fast boot devices I've been copying and pasting all of this um, so you can do that as well I found it easy then having to type everything out okay so that's done as you can see on the phone as well that's uh, done something Okay, and next we're going to go to the next one, uh, we need to install um, the recovery file, the twerp recovery, so go there as well, and I'm going to copy that in as well. Wonderful, so that has been done. So I'm going to unplug the phone, and we're going to do our favourite combination again, we're going to press volume up and power button. You're going to be an absolute pro by the end of this. Okay, and uh, can we see that we're on recovery? Uh, so I'm going to press volume down to select it. And there we go. Now, this technically is an unofficial version of Twerp, and because of that, it doesn't always function 100% like you would imagine. For example, it's in Russian to start with, and every time you need to go back into Twerp, it will be in Russian, but it's easy enough to uh, um, um, put English on so we just need to swipe and we need to go to that one there that starts with H okay we're going to go to the little globe at the top right and scroll down till we get to English and then we're going to click yes okay next thing we need to and this is why we needed the SD card because for some reason it can't read the internal storage uh, at least when I tried it didn't so we need to go to install and then we need to go to select storage so then I'm going to uh, select micro SD and we've got the Majisk file, so I'm going to click on that and swipe. See, there's some writing up there, unable to mount storage. I don't know how to fix the internal storage issue. Um, I tried a bunch of different uh, variations of twerp recovery for this, but this is the only one I got working, and... Uh, so this is as uh, good as it's going to get, but at least you can still root your phone. You just have to use your SD card to, to put things uh, on there, so if you need to flash anything it's got to be in your SD card. So we can see there we've got Magis, so I'm just going to click on that. And can you see everything is up to date? If it's not, uh, you just need to see if you've got an update button that you can do. So yes, we finally actually rooted this phone. So um, I'm hoping this video is going to be helpful to you. Um, all the uh, documents is going to be in one zip file. It'll be about um, about three gigabytes, I think, in total. But just download it and follow uh, my instructions. I've added a few other programs, but that's for another video I was doing. But I'm just including it in the bundle so I don't have to do two zip folders. So just ignore the ones that I've not mentioned in this video. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you hated it, subscribe. Okay, thank you very much. See you later.